Back to California now because something extraordinary is happening in this car chase in Santa Clarita. Uh, Trace Gallagher has got the extraordinary details. Trace. Crazy, Megan, because this is now in downtown Los Angeles near the University of Southern California, and it really has been jackpot for the entire downtown because these suspects are now throwing money out the window, and they have been for the better part of the last 15 minutes. And now the dangerous situation is, is you have kids that are actually running out of their house, watching this on TV, and chasing this car, so they're posing even more danger. On top of that, we now believe that at least three of the suspects have gotten out, and there are at least two suspects. Suspects that are still in the car. You can see people on the side of the road. If I can, just play the video of them throwing some of the cash out the windows. And they have thrown this out by our count at least five wow. or six different times. Cash being thrown out. And wow. you can see the kids are all running after it, right? They've done this a bunch of times, Megan. And you can see that these kids are running after the car now. They know where it is. It's on every television station in Los Angeles. And now you get kids running out of their house in downtown looking for a little cash. Now we're back live. They're still down by the University of Southern California, about in that area of downtown, and people know where they are. And now, on top of the bank robbery, we have confirmed that there is a handgun involved in this. So we know, as the police officers say, they are armed, they are reckless, they are dangerous, and they have led police up to a dozen cruisers on this high-speed chase at times of 110 miles per hour for almost one solid hour. Look at the people on the side looking for the money. The police tell us, Megan, that every time they throw cash out, they actually have GPS indicators inside the police car, and they push a button. Every time they push money out, they push a button, and that is location of another crime scene. So every place they put money out, they go back and try to get the cash. Good luck trying Good to luck gather up all right. that cash because a lot of it's down. You see them throwing something else out back there? We know there's two people in the car, Megan. It looks to me... Like there could be three. I mean, we know three people There's have gotten more. out, but you can see There's here. Some yeah, more. and they're Look jumping the in front running. of the cops, right? And they're getting in the way. They're trying to jump in front of the cops, like, hey, give us the money, give us the money. I mean, this is this is downtown Los Angeles, a very impoverished area. And when you got people throwing money out, you've got some people that badly want that money. It's a black Volvo. And again, we have kind of reiterated this. They have they've gone over and they've run the license plate. So if this car's not stolen, they know who they're dealing with. They will try to contact this guy if he has a cell phone. They'll try and contact his cell phone. Some of them pick up. Some of them don't. But all of them are desperate. And some of them, as we talked about earlier, Megan, are three-strike offenders, which means that they're going away for a very long time when they're caught. These guys are being pursued very aggressively because they pose a very big danger, as we can see, to people around them. It, it, it appears, look at the people running up to the car, it, it appears like they throw the money out the window when the cops get close to perhaps deter the police from continuing their pursuit because suddenly there are people in between the cop car and the assailant's uh, car picking up money. Yeah, and the interesting thing about this, Megan, is if they want to get away from the cops and get some distance, they keep kind of going around in circles or kind of winding around in different areas. And there are a number of freeway entrances that could get back on, get on the freeway and increase this chase or at least lengthen this chase. And so far, they've chosen not to do that. They've chosen to go back to surface streets. And the old rule of hand the police will always tell you is, is that suspects always tend to go to where they know the best because they think their best chance to get away is to go to their home territory. We're not saying these guys are from the downtown Los Angeles area because we simply don't know. But as a rule, a lot of these car chase suspects tend to go where they know because they're familiar with it and they believe that's their best chance of escape, though they never do get away, Megan. Look at folks, some of them waving at the car as it goes along the streets. Uh, and who knows how much money, how, what those bills are that they're throwing out of the window. I was going to ask you earlier whether this was a, a, you mentioned attempted robbery, whether it was a successful one. The, it appears the answer is yes. We'll talk more about it in just a minute. Got to get a quick break in. Don't go away. The group of men said to have a, committed an armed robbery. Then they took off in their car when the police gave chase. We have witnesses for the better part of 45 minutes now as this car goes around and around the blocks of downtown L.A. or, or southern L.A. and throws money out the window. Uh, literally, people in the streets are running to collect money that they are throwing out of their windows. And Trace has reported that... Three men have gotten out of the car. Two men, perhaps more, appear to still be in the car. Trace, bring us up to speed. 
one one driver, Megan, it appears two men are in the back seat, still occasionally tossing out money. You know, we William just handed me, Lajeunesse handed me some numbers. There are 7,000 car chases in L.A. every year. Most last only a couple of minutes. This one has lasted now for an hour. One hour. It started out by Magic Mountain, which is in northern Los Angeles County, and it all the way down five different freeways. Now it's in downtown Los Angeles. It's been in downtown for 15 or 20 minutes. Now this guy has kind of backed himself in a corner because there's some road construction coming up here, Megan. But these guys are armed and dangerous. What's what's kind of puzzling to us is we have seen this guy actually drive by police cars and so far they have not tossed down at least that we know of any of those spike strips you know the things that blow out the tires and they have not yet tried the pit maneuvers you can see there are some even you know unmarked police cars getting in involved in this and no spike strips so far that we have seen oh. and no pit maneuvers and that's probably you see that yeah the kids are chasing them Look, this is all over TV, just so people know. It's all over television. This is like sport in Los Angeles. Look at them. Look These at the folks waving, exactly asking for the money to be thrown out, right. and yet at, at great risk to themselves because there's a cadre of police following behind him. Yeah, and, and at one point, there were 12 different cruisers. They've backed off some of the sheriff's officers now. Uh, they've got, as we can see, one, two, three, four. The line could go even further back if the, the helicopter was to pull out on this thing. Uh, but there were 12 at one time. The CHP will also get involved in this if it goes back on the freeways. But right now, sheriff's officers are involved. And, yeah, the interesting point is that people know where the guy is because the helicopter pilots are given kind of a blow-by-blow -blow of this on local television. And so the local residents saying, hey, he's coming down our street. They run outside hoping they get a little cash. By now, they may be out of cash. I mean, we have this video. This is crazy video. Just throw, throw this up real quick, Alex, if you can. This is great video of them tossing the money out the window. Look at the cash. Where did they get the and money? Every they bit rob? of this cash. Bank, Bank of America in Santa Clarita. They robbed Bank of America at 10:15, a little over an hour ago, and they fled. Six suspects, three got out of the car, and three remain still inside that car that we know of, Megan. And there are several different crime scenes involved in this because, as you can imagine, this thing could go on still for a while. Do we know whether, you know, maybe this is just in the movies, but when you, when you get a bag of money from the bank that after you rob it, uh, they do something to the money. I mean, it could it be the throwing the money out the window because some ink thing blew up all over it, or do we have any idea? No, we don't, but you're exactly right. Sometimes they have those explosive ink packs in the bags and the money they give, and sometimes it's marked. But getting all this money back in downtown Los Angeles Good luck. is going to be a Herculean task. I mean, there are going to be different crime scenes, but they're not going to get it. We don't know if these guys are, are on drugs. We don't know what their motivation is right now. But there is a weapon inside the car, which is why police are very concerned about the pit maneuver, because they believe at that point in time you could have shots fired and you could have police officers injured. But they're really, really now looking at what's going to happen to all the pedestrians and the other drivers around this area. So far, he's been safe, though, Megan. I mean, recently, he's been driving fairly reasonably. Yeah, if, we, saw, we saw him slowing down to go over the speed bump. I mean, you have to wonder if, he, if he's listening to us, Trace, and heard us talk about how everybody always gets caught and decided, well, I'm going to get <laughs> caught, so I might as well give out this money to the good people of Los Angeles who are, are only too happy to accept it. Um, perhaps they don't know the source of it. Uh, but we will continue to watch this. Trace Gallagher reporting that this car has gone up to 110 miles an hour as these men, one driver, two others, remain in the car. Whoa, getting a little tight on the streets of L.A. Continue to go around the block and throw money out at the citizens of Los Angeles. More on that in just moments. And if we've seen it once, we've seen it a million times. Caught and headed for prison. Trace Gallagher, it's all wrapped up. The guy in the big silver truck is the hero, Megan. The cops didn't even have to put a spike strip down or bump him. The guy in the silver truck blocked him off. There was another car over there. That was the end of this hour-plus car chase, and the suspects are now, all of them, by the way, in custody, even the ones who jumped out earlier. That's how it always ends. And yet, uh, and when they got out, all the folks were clapping their hands, and we weren't sure whether they were clapping because the police were apprehending the bad guys or because the bad guys had been giving money to so many of the folks in downtown L.A. And now the police will begin their task of trying to review the TV footage mm. to find out exactly who took it. The Robin Hood car chase ends. Although, query whether the folks who keep their money in the bank in downtown L.A. are really the rich uh, from whom they stole. It's probably a lot of... Uh, right. A lot of good people who didn't expect their money to be stolen by these, what, now six suspects? Three were in the car, and you said a few got out as well? 
Yeah, the FBI has now confirmed that the three who got out have also been apprehended. The three in the car clearly apprehended. Um, and so everybody is now in custody, Megan, and the chase is over. And nobody, amazingly, from the crowds in the street got hit. Yeah. And that's the amazing But They were driving on sidewalks while we were doing the, in the break. Look at the size of the crowd that has come out to see this uh, right? arrest take place. There was not a lot of resisting going on once they actually got the car. Of course, the entire police chase is considered resisting arrest. But uh, once they actually got to the car, the men seem to have been apprehended with very little trouble by the police. And now we'll watch the aftermath here in downtown L.A. Trace will watch it for us and get back to us with any news. Hopefully this resolves uh, calmly and without incident. And, you know, the guys are going to prison like they always do when they commit bank robberies and then high-speed car chases. Trace, thank you.